YouTubers. Right now we're getting ready to paint this in a, uh, a blue and silver pattern. I believe this is a Duo Realis 120 knockoff. Uh, let's get the spitting. First we're going to coat it in all silver. It's going to take a few coats because I'm at low pressure. So what I'll do is I'll get this coated and I'll come back to you. All right, we're about done coating this bait with our silver. I'll go ahead and give it a quick heat set and then we'll skip to the next color. Not sure if you can pick that silver up on this camera or not, but she's coated pretty well in some silver. Okay, next color we're gonna come in, come in with is a blue. We're gonna go right down the spine. It doesn't matter which blue you use. I'm going with just a regular old blue. So we're gonna cover the spine and we're gonna go down the shoulders just a little bit. Light coats, light coats. Hit it with a little bit of air. Try her now. All right, more paint. We're gonna get that back kind of dark and then we'll go down the shoulders just a little bit. Say it's about as dark as we'll get her. I'll turn it sideways and I'll hit the shoulders coming in on this angle here. I hope I can get that on camera and spray at the same time. You just want to ease into it. You want to miss the bait and bring your bait to the paint. There we go. A little bit more on the spine. There we go. On to the next step. All right, next step is you add a little bit more blue, and then you add a dab of black. Not a drop, not a drop of black. Just a dab of black. Put a drop of paint on your uh, on a piece of paper. Dip your paintbrush in it, and then mix it with your blue. You just want to darken it a little bit, and then you just just want to hit the back closely. 
You probably won't see the difference on camera, but I assure you it's darkening up the spine. That's it. No darker than that. I'm not sure of the camera. All right, while off camera, I went ahead and started the next step, which is putting a stencil wrap over this bait. It's similar to the loofahs, the shower loofah, but this doesn't stretch as much. Uh, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, wherever. Same thing every other YouTuber, painter tells you about. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and spray over it with some uh, pearl white. I sprayed a low pressure, so it's going to take me probably four or five coats to get it to look like how I want to get it to look like. Quick heat set. And I'll go ahead and finish this part up and we'll be back in a jiffy. All right, we're about finished up with the uh, pearl white. We'll go ahead and get a quick heat set on this and we'll take the uh, stencil off. There's probably six coats of uh, pearl white on here. Being I spray it such a low pressure, it takes a while for me to build it up. I hope the camera picks up on this. I chose light colors today. Oh, that looks beautiful. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have chose such light colors today. All right, next step is I put a little pearl black down the spine, a thin blaze of pearl black down the spine. Very thin, very thin. And then I'll hit the cheeks with a little bit of black and I'll throw some gold over the cheeks and I'll put some fins on her and uh, I'll show you what she looks like after clear coat. All right, let me change colors here. All right, we're back. I took one drop of blue and I put a dab of black in it again uh, with a bunch of thinner. Uh, this is pretty thin. You see that? She's pretty thin. I'm gonna do a thin blaze down the back. Try to anyway on camera. bring her close to me so I can try to see what I'm doing. Barely getting any pain on it.
if you're starting to see it or not, but I'm going real, real light. I'll be back when that blaze is finished. All right, that thin blaze is done down the spine. Very thin blaze. That's what we got so far. I'm going to darken them cheeks up with a little black. Then I'm going to go over the black with some gold. And then I'll put some fins on it. Let me get my gun ready. Or airbrush ready, I'm sorry. And I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Put some black in the chamber. I'm going to hit a light coat. A black on the gills. A light coat. I just want the black to uh, be a background for the gold to show up a little bit better. Try it with some air, a little bit more paint. Well, that's picking it up or not. I'll hit the other side. Let me do a little bit on the snout. That's it. Barely tell, but I had to help that gold to uh, pop out a little bit. All right, we'll be back with some gold. All right, we're back with some gold. And we're just going to go over that black. Hit it with some air. Believe me, after I get the final shots of this, after clear coat and dip, everything should pop and I'll take them with a better camera. A little bit more gold. That's enough. Might've been too much. That's good. Heat set. I'll be back. All right, off camera. I went and I darkened the eye sockets just a little bit. Uh, now we're going to hit the chin with some orange and we'll bring it back close to the uh, first hook hanger and uh, after that is fins so we'll spray this up a little bit 
one one light coat it's very very thin I can't go I wish I could cover it in one pass like the high pressure sprayers do but uh I can't spray on high pressure I'm just air drying it Spray, air dry, spray, air dry, and spray and air dry. I might do a little touch of red right there. Not sure yet. I know this camera's not picking it up, but she looks pretty decent. And they always look better at the clear coat. Alright, time for the fins. Do that off camera. I'll be back after the clear clear coat. <laughs> Thank you.